Hi, Jeff Miloshek with Bailing Country here with my friend Clarissa. Today we're going to show you how to properly install a round pin. Clarissa, one of the first things we want to do is find out what you're going to be doing with this round pin. Are you going to be breaking colts with it? Are you going to be working an old mare? What are you going to be looking to do with this thing? Well, Jeff, she's a broke horse trail rider and we just want to warm her up beforehand. All right, Clarissa, then this is the round pin you need. This is our horse country panel. This is our medium duty corral panel. It's not our heaviest one and it's not our lightest one. Uh, this one here is 64 inches tall. It's got square corners. Um, it's got a, a 14 gauge brace on here and it's relatively easy to set up. Now, Jeff, I noticed it has square corners. What's the difference between square corners and round corners? Well, typically on a round pin, you're going to want to use square corners. It's mainly for safety. When you get your panels put together, you're going to have a closer junction up on top versus a curved one. If an animal was ever to get up on top, it creates a funnel and the leg can get in there and get stuck, where the square corners is going to give you a nice tight junction up on top. Okay. And I notice it has pin connections. What's the difference between pin connections and chain connections? Yeah, we offer two different styles. We have a pin connector style and a chain connector style. The pin connector allows for a little bit easier setup. Um, one thing that we have the advantage with our pin connectors are very tight connections. Some of the other pin connectors out on the market give you a big gap up to four inches, where ours is about two inches. Um, so you don't have to, have to worry about that large gap on top. The chain together is just a matter of preference. It gives you two pipes that are going right up against each other, so there's absolutely no gap in there. And I noticed when choosing there were a lot of different gauges. What does the gauges stand for? That's another great question. Gauges are actually how strong and how thick that steel is going to be. We offer everything from a 14 gauge steel all the way to a 20 gauge steel. For example, our 10 foot panels in a 20 gauge steel weigh about 49 pounds. The 14 gauge steel in the same 10 foot panel weighs almost 110 pounds. So you can see how the gauge is, it's almost three times the weight you're going to get just by changing your gauges. We offer about 10 different round pins, so we're going to have the right round pin for your application, depending on what you're going to do with it. All right. Well, I notice there's a bunch of panels here, so what's the best way to start? I'll tell you what. Looks like you got all 15 panels and a 6x9 arch. I have a stick and string over here. Since this is going to be a 50-foot round pin, we have a 25-foot rope. we got a post. We'll go pound that in the middle, make sure we got enough room, and get this thing set up. All let's right. Go. Let's get started. Does this look like the place where you want to set the round pin up? Yes. Good. We'll go ahead and take this, set up our reference point. Okay. All right, and I notice sometimes these arenas can be built on dirt or grass. Yeah, typically you want to have a uh, round pin built on dirt or sand or some kind of substrate that's going to give the horse a lot more traction. If you're on grass, the, ch the horse has a better chance of slipping, falling, and getting injured. So for demonstration purposes today, we're going to go ahead and set it up on grass until you're able to get some sand or some dirt moved in. All right. All right, so what we want to do now, I'm going to give you this can of spray paint. We're going to take this 25-foot rope. We're going to walk out to the perimeter and go ahead and uh, make a good reference point for when we set these panels up. All right. <laughs> All right, Clarissa, now that we got our perimeter set, we need to find out where you want to put your gate. Typically, people are going to have it where it's easy access to a large pin or their barn. Does this look good to you here? Yes, it does. All right, let's go ahead and grab that gate, and we can get this set up. All right, Clarissa, at this point, it's always nice to have a helper just kind of balance the first panel while we're setting this up. So if this is where you want it, we can go right here, get that set. We'll go grab a second panel. Now, if you'll notice, we're going to put the braces on the outside with this specific panel. This keeps the instructions away when the horse is actually working in the round pin. Okay, we'll have balance. We'll grab one more panel. Go ahead and set that down on your perimeter mark you made earlier. Go ahead and get this pinned up. One thing you're going to see with the way our pin design is, even if you have some fluctuations in the ground, it's still going to allow you to hook it up and still give you a nice secure connection. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these crowd panels and get this thing set up. All right. Preview. All right, Clarissa, there's the last pin for your round pin. Now you can start working your horses. Thank you. You bet.